हेलो वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम सुहानी और सुशी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक वीडियो अबाउट हाउ आई स्कोर नाइन्टी फाइव इन माई क्लास टेन साइंस बोर्ड एंड हाउ यू कैन प्रॉबेबली स्कोर नाइन्टी फाइव प्लस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट स्टार्ट ऑफ द ओवरऑल टिप्स राइट सो वेन इट कम्स टू सैम्पल पेपर्स आई डेड एडोकार्ट एंड ऑसवाल इज ऑल्सो एन ऑप्शन सो इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी बॉट इट एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व दैम देन ग्रेट बट इफ यू हैव इंट देन यू कैन गो फॉर एनी ऑनेस्टली एडोकार्ट और ऑसवाल बोथ ऑफ दैम आर इक्वली गुड एंड वेन इट कम्स टू पी वाई क्यूज I think you should prefer doing sample papers over PYQs simply because when it comes to the question paper pattern this year's pattern is obviously going to be different from last year and so on get updated with the new pattern and go according to the new pattern it's best if you refer to sample papers rather than previous year questions but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do previous year questions you can obviously if you have any time left then you can go through them but to be very honest when i was in 10th i just did a few important questions just from google and i think i did pretty well typed important questions after the chapter name and found many websites on google and i just solved those when it comes to the youtube lectures that i used to watch i used to watch parle tenties i used to watch sun like study and i didn't refer to magnet brains because the lectures were way too long for me and i'm not sure which channels this batch is referring to but two years ago when i was in 10th i used to watch these two channels i also used to watch the important question videos of vedantu for question practice mostly of physics so let's start off with physics and then we'll go to chemistry and lastly biology literally all you have to do is just read the chapter first magnetic effects of electric current filled with theory there's nothing to worry about when it comes to numericals from that chapter and light when it comes to the diagrams i would suggest you this one particular video that i've put on the screen right now it helped me understand the diagrams properly remembered it in an instant it's just easy to understand and animated which is why i guess it was just engraved in my memory and when it comes to human eye you just have to learn the different cases it's not that complicated and you will be able to learn those i think you should try noting things down and writing things down rather than just passively reading everything so these days you might have heard about the term of active studying rather than passive studying which is to basically solve questions after you read a chapter so that you have an understanding of how well you've read the chapter and that's exactly what i want you to apply here by now the syllabus should be done and i'm not going to say it's completely okay if you haven't started studying till now i hope that you have a basic idea of what every chapter is about and it's not necessary for you to completely wrote learn the whole textbook but when it comes to biology it is quite necessary now let's move on to chemistry so when it comes to chemistry carbon and its compounds is one of the chapters i want you to get done first because it might seem a little complicated for many of you either it will be really easy for you or it will be a little difficult either way i want you to complete this chapter first the rest of the chapter chemical reactions metals and non metals etc you have to memorize the reactions now what i did was in physics the way you make a formula sheet right the same way i want you to make a formula sheet or a reaction sheet for chemistry just fill it with the reactions that are present in every chapter i'm pretty sure i also did make one when i was in 10th and it was really helpful for last minute revision basically right before any exam like pre boards or anything like that you just go through those ones and you remember what each one is for i'm trying to get through these points as fast as i can so that i don't waste too much of your time lastly when it comes to bio first of all i hope you've completed life processes i feel like that was the most thorough chapter from what i remember and i always always used to get questions wrong from it and especially the circulatory system part the diagram of the heart 
diagrams are very important so first i want you to go through the content so that you understand what is going on and then move on to the diagrams but don't forget to do the diagrams make mind maps rewrite things if you're not able to understand anything watch lectures do as much as revision as you can because i remember when i was in 10th i think i read the same textbook about three to four times each and every chapter revise 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 until it is stuck in your brain <laughs> it is technically the easiest out of all three so i just want you to go through content practice questions as many times as you can and repeatedly when it comes to overall paper presentation diagrams should always be made in pencil in our board paper i don't i think there was a question about a diagram but it was in an or question and i'm pretty sure i attempted the writing one but if you get a diagram related question i suggest you have to make it with pencil don't forget that after every answer you can draw a line with a pencil just to segregate it and make it look neat i know that this is necessary for the boards only but it is better if you put it into practice right now and also do the same in your pre board exam so that you have a habit of doing the same everyone has different ways of studying and different methods of studying now what works for me might not work for you so i would suggest while you have the time right now you have your pre boards coming up so while you have the time i want you to get to know exactly which study method works for you and how long you're able to sit in a concentrated manner so i covered the basic tips of physics chemistry and biology and what you're supposed to do for that you don't really need any other books when it comes to the actual content the questions will mostly be asked from the ncert itself it's just your level of understanding that will be tested i suggest you don't buy numerous reference books this that instead just stick to the ncert and use other books just for question practice it is not necessary for you to read for 10 hours every day or read for 10 to 12 hours every day just because you're in class 10 and class 10 is really important yes i agree your boards are important but quality over quantity is what matters here so when i was in 10th the last 2 to 3 months i remember studying for about 6 hours every day so if i want to complete the chapter life processes today you don't have to put an exact time limit as to i have to complete it in this much time you just have to get started and always remember that it is way more necessary to be disciplined than want motivation all the time it is completely okay and understandable that sometimes you do get demotivated and just don't feel like studying but that doesn't mean that you just waste your whole day <laughs> do not ignore the activities those are very very important and we had many questions from that in the pre boards as well as in the board exam so sst is split into history civics economics and geography and economics is technically the easiest out of these four and geography there's a lot to remember right so starting with history i will let you know that if you're having a hard time remembering the dates it is not necessary to remember each and every date mentioned in the textbook talk to your teachers ask them doubts and ask them what is important when it comes to reference books it's the same for sst as well personally i feel oswal is the best for sst because many questions from oswal came in our pre board when it comes to history divide each subtopic into points and remember everything point wise and even when you're writing down the answers of history write everything point wise so that it's easier for the teacher to provide you with marks so i know i lost marks in the case study where there was basically a filling the blank and it asked for the name of a few industrialists but unfortunately since i didn't remember the names i couldn't answer that question for history make timelines for each and every chapter so that it's easier for you to remember the dates and second of all there's a little trick that i used to learn all the names you can use mnemonics of course but what i did was i titled the page with the chapter name and then i just wrote down every single name and the significance of why that name has been mentioned in the textbook and that really helped me a lot now when it comes to civics 
this also you have to remember everything point wise and remember the dates the first chapter is really 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 easy and you just have to read it once and you'll understand the chapter and read it twice or thrice and re just revise it as many times as you can and the questions when it comes to history and civics are quite direct so you can understand what the question is asking and then just provide the answer point wise now coming to geography this was the place where i struggled a lot the thing that helped me again was mind maps the same as what I mentioned in science. Mind maps helped me to remember which region is known for what and which soil is in which region. And of course, YouTube helped me a lot when it came to geography. I'll mention a few channel names that helped me out back then at the end of the video. Lastly, when it comes to economics, just to read the chapters and remember to read everything, even the little parts that are provided in boxes. So for SST, the channel that I referred to was Digraj Sir's videos. Back then, he was a part of Magnet Brains. So that time I was watching Magnet Brains, but now he has his own channel called Social School. We really, really appreciate how easy he made SST for me and he just helped me out so, so much. This particular video was what I used for map work and it helped me a lot. I just watched it about twice and I was already done with the preparation for maps for my actual board exam. For history and civics, you can refer to the animated videos that you can find on YouTube or Shubham Pathak map. I hope this video was helpful for you and I tried to merge everything into this one video for both science and SST. And yeah, that's it. All the best.